PC iPlayer. Live from London, this is BBC News. A stunning set of by-election results in England, big wins for Labour and the Liberal Democrats, but the Conservatives hang on in Boris Johnson's old constituency. I'm Samantha Simmons and I'm live here in Westminster getting all the reaction following those results. The first pictures from inside the barge set to house hundreds of UK asylum seekers. The outrage grows after video of two women being paraded naked through the streets in India. We talk live to Manipur's First Minister. And the legendary singer Tony Bennett has died at the age of 96. Hello and welcome. I'm Matthew. I'm really well and welcome to Verified Live. Three hours of breaking stories and checking out the truth behind them. Well, we start here in the UK where Rishi Sunak has suffered two stunning setbacks and a surprise hold in three by-elections in England. There were massive swings away from the Conservatives in the two defeats and the main political parties have been taking stock of what the results mean. Well, there were celebrations for Labour in North Yorkshire in the seat of Selby and Ainsley, uh, with the party overturning a majority of more than 20,000 votes. There was an even bigger percentage swing for the Liberal Democrats in the South West, taking Somerton and Froome, overturning a 19,000 majority. But the Tories held on to Boris Johnson's former constituency of Uxbridge and South Ryslip in West London, winning by just 495 votes. Well, let's go live now to Westminster and live to Samantha Simmons. Samantha, over to you. Matthew, thanks very much. Well, let's get more reaction now from all of those by-election constituencies with our correspondents. We've got Jonathan Blake, who's in Froome, and Chi-Chi Isunda, who is in Uxbridge, uh, where the Conservatives managed to hold on to that seat. Chi-Chi, to you first. And there's been a bit of a row really brewing about the holding on of that seat, with the Labour Party blaming the extension of a policy which is known as ULES, the ultra low emission zone by London's mayor, um, and the Conservative candidate who won it saying, yeah, that is the reason that I won. 